Fresh Question 13. Freshwater mussels are small animals that live on the beds of lakes and rivers. Zebra mussels are a f species of freshwater mussel native to lakes in Russia. They were accidentally introduced by humans into a river in North America in 1991. The populations of zebra mussels, mussels and the native unionid, I think that might be, mussels were measured over a 12 year period. Results are shown in the graph below. Okay. Um, for A, state the unionid mussel population in 1993. Okay, this is not shouldn't be too bad. So we've got our standard now that you're expecting. It's a double axis graph. Um, I am looking for the unionid muscles, so I am reading to this side, and I'm reading to the dotted line. So 1993 here, I've got to go up to this, and then read across. Now it's between two points. Oh, but it's okay. It's bang in the middle. Okay, so this is 110. Oh, sorry, 110. Wrong place. And let's write that one. Okay, for part two, state the zebra mussel population when the unionid mussel population was 50 mussels per metre squared. So this is all about just being careful about where you read from and to. Right, so I'm looking for, to start with, the unionid mussel population. So this side, I want the 50. So I want bang in the middle of those two. Okay, oh, can't, there we go. Right, okay, so it's, I'm looking at 1997. Okay, I'm not, I'm on the graph so it's not too bad. So then I need to read up, because I'm still looking at 1997, that's when that was the case, just going up here, and then I've found my point and I need to read across. Oh, that's dodgy, you would obviously be looking at the normal paper, so, and it's on the line, nicely done, uh, 3100. Okay, calculate the average increase per year in the zebra mussel population between 1991 and 2003. Okay, so we're looking at the zebra mussel population, so I'm looking at the solid line, and I'm reading to this side. So at 1991, it was at zero, and in 2003, top end here, um, we're at this point, so it goes to 3,900. It's asking for the average increase per, increase per year. So how much of that happened per year? You're told, if you can't do the count, that it's a 12-year period. Otherwise, obviously, 1991 to 2003 is 12 years. So I just need to take 3,900 and divide by 12 to get you how many you increased each year. And that's 325 muscles per meter squared per year. Okay. B. Explain how the graph confirms that zebra muscles are more successful competitors than unionid muscles. It's kind of obvious here. Okay. So basically, um, we've got one increasing while the other one's decreasing. So uh, the zebra muscles are increasing while, oh, can't spell again, I'm getting to the end of how much I can do today. This has been quite a few videos and I still need to obviously change them to upload them. Okay, um, that's it. Right, I, I then I've copied it again just so I could get it next to the other set of questions. Using evidence from the graph, explain why zebra mussels are an invasive species. Okay, there are two things that define an invasive species. One is the speed at which they increase, rapid increase in the population. But we're talking about information from this graph. Um, so you do have the rapid in in increase, but they've not accepted that in the, um, in the mark scheme. What is more essential, though, is that it's impacting on the native species. So that's what you need to pull out. OK, so from this one, our native species, which is the unionid one, we have here is decreasing. OK, and that's what you need to pull out. So if you say that the native population or the unionid muscle population has decreased um, over the time that the zebra muscle population is increasing. OK. Suggest a reason why the population of zebra mussels may have increased faster um, than its native um, habitat. So you've removed it to somewhere better for it, basically, because we now have no predators, less competition. Uh, we probably have less disease, um, less parasites, all the things that normally keep a an, an general population within its carrying capacity and slowing it. Um, we don't have that. Okay, any one of those. 
Invasive species have a negative impact on genetic diversity of an ecosystem. State what is meant by genetic diversity. This is a straight definition. Okay, what we're looking for is the number and frequency of alleles in a population. And that's it. Okay. Um, as I said last year's set, which I just finished earlier, um, I'm not going to do the big extended answers um, because I think that the mark schemes are the best way for you to look at those. And me talking through a mark scheme is not really any help at all for that. Um, and that's the paper.